Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab Al Fatih. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Dhabiya Palace a number of royal family members and officials and discussed with them a number of local affairs. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is continuing to develop all its sectors to keep up with the changes in the world. He stressed that Bahrain is rich in its highly qualified human resources that contribute to the development process in the Kingdom. During the meeting, His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of supporting development efforts and build on the gains achieved. He noted the kingdom's developments in infrastructure, roads projects and in the health education and housing sectors. The Prime Minister expressed aspiration to achieve more progress and prosperity and stressed the need to maintain national unity to preserve security and stability. His Royal Highness asserted the importance of maintaining Bahraini heritage and educating the youth on this legacy. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qadibiya Palace the chairman and members of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, led by Samir bin Abdullah Nas, who expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his interest in the private sector. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated the attendees on the agreements made between the BCCI and the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism on the fees of commercial activities, which His Royal Highness ordered to be charged twice every six months. The BCCI expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his directives, which culminated in full agreement between BCCI and the Ministry, affirming that history is witness to His Royal Highness's supporting stances to the commercial sector. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the role of traders in the commercial system, urging BCCI to support small businesses and hailing the Chamber's recent achievements. His Royal Highness asserted that the government and BCCI are connected by a strategic partnership and a common goal of revitalizing the business process and speeding up economic development. He stressed the government's support to the private sector and welcomed their points of view and suggestions to share this responsibility of supporting the national economy. His Royal Highness noted that the Kingdom has always been leading in the commercial field and that the government has always been keen on supporting the efforts of commercial activities. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the role of the BCCI and its contributions to consolidating the pillars of economic and commercial systems in the kingdom. He also lauded the expertise of the traders in Bahrain and their contributions to increasing investments and leading projects. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of cooperating to preserve the kingdom's gains, praising the creativity and keenness of production on Bahrain of Bahraini citizens. For their part, the chairman and the members of the BCCI expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continuous support to the chamber hailing his keenness on various affairs related to commerce and for his keenness on eliminating any obstacles to the commercial process of the kingdom. They asserted that His Royal Highness's support to the private sector is an incentive to exert more efforts that serve the national economy, noting His Royal Highness's directives and his supporting stances to traders and businessmen.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Hani Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, reached the final stage of preparations and training to participate in the Ironman Championship in Kona, in the United States, which will begin on Saturday with the participation of over 3,000 participants from around the world. His Highness Sheikh Nasser and Bahrain Triathlon team continued their daily training to logistical and physical perfection. His Highness of that he will begin the race with high spirits to make a remarkable achievement for the kingdom. He added that the training is at its final stage and that the participation of world champions intensifies competitiveness. He highlighted the perseverance and determination of the participants, asserting that he and the team will work hard to achieve positive results. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs organizes the first World Youth Festival for Sustainable Development Goals during the current month. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pride in His Majesty the King's patronization of the festival, which stems from His Majesty's belief in Bahrain's leading role on the global level to demonstrate its leading steps of achieving sustainable development and integrating the youth in achieving its goals. His Highness added that the Kingdom is keen on investing in youth energies for creativity and youth empowerment, stating that the festival will be a platform for the youth to offer their points of view and to involve them in decision making. He added that the festival aims to educate the youth and all society groups on the goals of sustainable development and to encourage the youth to achieve them. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation and Chairman of the Higher Organizing Committee for the Brave International Combat Week, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired today the meeting of the Organizing Committee. His Highness directed to have a free entrance for audience to attend and watch the fifth edition of the Amateur Mixed Martial Arts Championship held with the Brave Combat Week, which will be held in the Kingdom from November the 11th until the 18th in Khalifa Sports City Stadium. Sheikh Khalid welcomed the committee members, affirming that this meeting comes within the framework of the committee's efforts to prepare for the Brave Combat Week. He added that the organizer committee is looking forward to highlight this event to achieve the desired success and prove Bahrain's ability to organize various events and world championships as well as enhance its advanced position in the sport. His Highness was briefed on the steps taken by the committee in forming the working committees and he directed to speed up preparations. He hailed the efforts of all the members of the organizing committee and commended the efforts of the executive committee in creating a time plan for the launch of preparations of the Global Sports Forum, which is being hosted by Bahrain for the second time in a row. His Highness added that this affirms Bahrain's high position in the sports level due to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which has had a positive impact on Bahraini sports. Sheikh Khalid praised the follow-up and efforts of His Majesty the King's representative for charity and work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which helped the Kingdom reach an advanced position in the sports field. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Al Ahram Cultural Festival was launched today, organized by Egypt's Al Ahram Foundation in cooperation with the Ministry of Information Affairs at the University of Bahrain. The festival began with Bahraini and Egyptian national anthems. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed Al Ramehi, delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the festival reflects the depth of historic relations between Bahrain and Egypt and the development they witnessed under the leadership of His Majesty the King and President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. He expressed uh, thanks and appreciation to Egypt's brotherly and supporting stances to Bahrain and its commitment to supporting Arab and Islamic rights and issues and defending the security of the Gulf and the region as an integral part of its national security. The minister stated that the initiative of Al-Ahram Foundation of organizing the festival proves the vital role of Egyptian media throughout history in supporting development research and Arab intellectual and cultural 
cultural enlightenment. The minister expressed confidence in the outcomes of the media and cultural forum. Al Ahram Foundation Director, Festival President and Coordinator delivered speeches on the occasion. A, a presentation on the foundation was screened and a number of media personalities were honored. The Kingdom of Bahrain has witnessed over the last year's development in all fields as a result of the reform project which fostered the culture of democracy led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa since his accession to the throne in 1999. His successful reforms met worldwide admiration. More on this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. Since its early years, Bahrain has adopted democracy, which has been an integral part of the policies of its successive rulers for decades. Deeply interested in the involvement and partnership of citizens in the decision-making process, and out of a true belief in the importance of democracy, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa launched an ambitious reform project, which first materialized with the initiation of the National Action Charter in 2001, which was welcomed unanimously by the people of Bahrain, followed by the constitution in 2002 to make Bahrain one of the most democratic countries in the region. The last 20 years in Bahrain has been an exceptional period um, of democratic reform. Um, and I think from an analytical point of view, the, the engines were started um, even before the accession of King Hamid. But nonetheless, the reforms that King Hamid pushed through and the way that he, he went about uniting the country on a common mission, uh, and that's a mission of change to include every segment of society and to develop Bahrain so that it emerges as a, a very modern um, and inclusive society has really been unparalleled, not only in the region, but when it comes to democratic experiments and democratic maturation, I think that Bahrain really stands out as being exceptional. And these are all the, the results of the reforms that were undertaken after uh, King Hamid's accession. After the National Action Charter was ratified, the National Assembly was founded, which included two chambers, the Shura Council and the Council of Representatives. The strategy, which came to life with parliamentary municipal elections 16 years ago, opted to provide the citizens with a democratic right of participating in decisions concerning their welfare and the welfare of their country. The establishment of the Shura Council was the first democratic experience in Bahrain and has played a remarkable role over the years in terms of creating a functioning and healthy democratic environment and mature political action in Bahrain. The, to, have, to have an elected parliament, not only in the Middle East and not only in Bahrain, but everywhere in the world, is super important to reflect the interests, the needs and the varieties that of, of people's um, uh, let's say, the way that their national desires uh, are reflected uh, in state building or in the maturation of the state. So I think that heading to ballot boxes and casting your ballot to support those people who are running, um, which and each individual citizen favors, um, is, is very important. And it also provides, you know, an avenue of, um, of ex like an expression of political interest, an expression of political will. Royal initiatives of His Majesty the King continue to pour into democracy, reinforcing freedom and broadening popular participation to attain social justice and equality within the framework of the Action Charter's principles and constitutional laws. And as our democratic process continues to flourish, the people of Bahrain remain eager to go to the polls and make their voices heard. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.